Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Nigerians were after the star Yuba actor has been pretty bad day celebrates Latif Adidi Meji's mother. As a daily reporter, today is a celebratory day for the star Yuba actor Latif Adidi Meji as his mother adds another year. He shares the same birth month with his mother who was born on February 6th today. It was less than a week ago that Latif celebrated his own 36th birthday on February 1st. And today, as he celebrates his mother, he also went ahead to pray for her and vowed that he's going to celebrate her every day of his life. There are many reports of people having conflict with their mother-in-law, but that seems not to be the case of these two movie stars, who have constantly warmed the hearts of Nigerians with their outstanding love story. While sharing prayers in her mother-in-law today, Bimbo also shared that he shares the same name with her mother-in-law and confesses that she's the best mother-in-law anyone could ever pray for. The two movie stars praised Latif Adidimeji's mother for being a prayer warrior who is filled with love. And Latif even said that there are times his prayers are too weak and God decides to listen to his mother's prayers instead. These two movie stars got married in December 2021. They had a traditional wedding ceremony on December 18th and their Nikah wedding ceremony on December 22nd. Their wedding ceremony was said to be the celebrity wedding of the year 2021. Bimbo Yebade shared on her official social media platform a photo of her husband and his mother and added the words Happy birthday, mommy, yala dura, diri ya jeje, the very best mother in love anyone could pray for, my namesake, ekpe funwa, eje wamo kpe 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 la long, we love you, mom. And as Bimbo Yebade says this, lots of Nigerians pray for Latifa Didimeji's mother and wishing her a happy birthday. And some are also praising Bimpo Yobadi for being a good wife. And Latif, who also shared a photo of his mother, said, Today is your birthday, mommy, but I will celebrate you every day of my life. Not only because it is the will of the holy books, but also because you deserve it. For the days my prayers are too weak and God decides to listen to yours. For the selflessness and the days you bore pains for me to smile. For the nine months you sheltered me from the arrows of the day and the terrors of the night. For my years on your back, even though in a way I still live there. I celebrate you today on your birthday and I wish you more strength to live long in fullness of all to enjoy the fruits of your hard labor. This is my prayer for you, mommy. May your teeth be strong to bite the muse. And may your heart be turned to God constantly for the peace that matters. You are blessed among women. Inshallah, I will be here to wish you again next year. Many more to come. Happy birthday, Yala Timmy. On one. Once again, we wish you Latifa Didimeji's mother a happy birthday and may God bless her new age. For those who may want to know more about this movie, stars celebrating Latifa Didimeji's mother. For those who may want to know more about Latifa Didimeji and his wife, the star you batch has been with you, buddy, please stay with us. At the end of the year 2021, the star you batch has been with you, buddy, who is now known as Mrs. Rama Adedi Meji took to her Instagram page to give a recap of the year 2021 and how it all went down. And recounting her 2021 experience, she wrote, Let's talk about 2021. The plan was always to be happy, to do me regardless, and live above inhibitions, but I wasn't prepared for the twist. I prayed for the rain and then I saw a hurricane. I prayed for the sun and before I knew it, there was a wildfire. I didn't even know what to believe. So there was all my life and that one time. There were people's projects and trust me to give my all. There were stories on blogs and I didn't even know how to react. But I started the year 2021 as Miss Uyibadi and I ended the year as Mrs. Adidimichi. Believe me, I didn't see that coming. Sometimes in March, it became clearer to me that my best friend wanted more. Dude was relentless. He knew what he wanted and as childish as I was, he was patient. It was no-brainer. I gave love a chance, and today I'm happy for it. And she went ahead to celebrate her husband, and she said she was going to love him today and the day after forever. Also, some days ago, the star of your actress, Latifa Didimeji, confessed that his wife, Bimbo Ibadi, is a true comforter God promised him. This was after she threw him a surprise birthday party. As Anna mentioned, his birthday was on February 1st. In a video shared on Instagram, Latif could be seen walking into the house, oblivious that guests were already inside waiting for him. On sighting the guest, the actor first wanted to run out of the house 
and later on he fell on the floor in laughter as they dragged him back. And he later wrote on his Instagram, Hey God, I wouldn't even lie. The surprise party my wife, his family and friends pulled out. On my belt, they really got me. I'm so grateful, guys. It feels good to have people around. Those that genuinely care and those that go out of their way to show love and care. I feel honored. And to this minute, I still feel goosebumps all over me. How do I say thank you? Yesterday opened my eyes to a lot of things. Many of you left your personal routines to make my day. Even at very short notice. The surprise birthday party was lit and everyone present made me feel special beyond words. The kind words everyone said will continue to ring in my head. The gift remains special. Just like the pure intentions behind them. I could go on and on and words will fill me in every language I understand. I'm saying a heartfelt thank you and to you, Mobi. My very old Rama, thank you, my woman. You keep out doing yourself. You keep pulling your stunts in majestic ways. You are the true definition of the comforter God promised me. Thank you, and I won't say it, but wait for it. Even for your body, is a style you by actress and a model who came into the movie industry in the year 2016. And immediately, she featured in the very first movie, she hits the spotlight. She's one of the lucky ones. The movie in which she featured in and got her very first movie role was Crossroads, which was produced by Yomi Fabi. This the actress was one in her career, the Undo State capital, even though she's originally from Ijiru in Ikiti State. And she's from the royal family. She's the last child of the family and daughter in a family of five. She had a secondary school education at Asset College and Omoliwi School. She later proceeded to Ikiti State University where she studied English. Bimbe Ibade is fondly called Mo Bimbe or Adi Bimbe or Moba. She's a multi-talented actress. She started off her career as a mother. It was not until 2016 that she accidentally started acting. She saw, it, she saw it on the social media platforms that a dark skin model was required for a movie role. She applied for this and she was chosen for it. But then Bimbe Ibade stunned a lot of people with her performance in that movie and immediately she shot into the limelight. She has since starred in more than 50 movies, including Mole Fe, Monle, Ayetimuwa, Romance, Wounded, Layo, Shubaje, and so on. She is also a movie producer, and she has produced at least 5 movies. So this is a little bit about this couple, Latifa Didi Meiji and Bimpo Yibade. Now come to the end of this episode, where Nigerians react as Bimpo Yibade confesses Latifa Didi Meiji's mother is the type of mother every woman will pray for. Is the type of mother every woman will pray for. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things. Once again, happy birthday to Latif Adi Dineji's mother.